it's it's easy to have an image of it that is so far from hey guys <laughs> Welcome back to my 4C experience. My name is Ifa. Uh, today's video is as well. I, I don't know why I try and explain the video because it's in the title. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you stay long enough and you subscribe. I've got a playlist of all my like review videos of products. So be sure to check it out and see if there's any products there that you would be interested in knowing more about or how I've, how I've experienced it. If you're not new here, welcome back. If you have subscribed, I appreciate you and if you haven't subscribed and you've been watching my videos I'm gonna give you an opportunity to subscribe right now okay right now my hair is hasn't been washed for about two weeks now and it's been extremely dry I just finished doing a hot oil treatment which is something I'm I'm not new to but I'm new to incorporating it in my routine which I will talk about in a later video when I give my next hair update today's product some of the products I've had for a while back in October for Black History Month I bought some hair products, some black British owned hair products. I've been using a few of them every now and again, but I haven't used all of them. And there are some that I really just been waiting to try and kept forgetting about. So I will be shampooing my hair with nylon. This is a strength and shine shampoo cream. I've never actually used a shampoo cream before. Um, I think this should be interesting to use. I really love this packaging. It's so pretty and it's a pump. So I love a pump shampoo. My hair is wet and there is quite a bit of oil on it obviously i rinsed it out but i tried my best to to not um i just want to see how well this cleans it doesn't say it's sulfate free which means it has sulfate i'm assuming it's got sulfates in it it says it in the ingredients and sulfates is not a bad thing especially if you've got product build up or if you're really trying to clean your hair and scalp too much of it it's not a good thing but again in this life everything in moderation so i'm just going to take a little bit I'm just going to use two pumps because it's just one section. It's kind of got like a shine to, to the cream. It doesn't really have a smell. So with the shampoo, I realized a little doesn't go a long way, but I also realized I didn't need to overdo it. I really love that it's a pump because it controls how much I need to use. And I love, love, love that it lathers really, really well and doesn't leave my hair feeling strict of natural oils. And just to make sure I get my scalp, I'll be using my Oso oh Curly shampoo brush. So I've squirted a maybe two and a half pumps worth of shampoo around the brush, just so that I can apply it directly to my scalp. I'll rinse it out and shampoo the rest of my hair, but considering there was so much oil on my hair beforehand, and I've shampooed it and it's lathered up like this, I, I really like that. One thing I remember my mom taught me from such a young age, um, especially when I was transitioning from her washing my hair to me washing my hair myself when she was teaching me, she said if the shampoo doesn't completely lather up like properly, then there's still oil and grease in your hair. So I've carried that advice. Hopefully you can hear me over the water running, but I had to stop mid-wash and show you. This is still first round of each quarter, right? Look at how it's lathered up. My hair feels so soft and not stripped at all. So I'm not even gonna have to do it twice. This is fantastic. 10 out of 10. One wash and my hair is, actually this is the true test. If I haven't ever known of a shampoo cream before, I'm glad I was introduced to this first. I'm gonna do something a little different today. Um, I've got two conditioners from Lush. So just before Christmas, Lush released their Afro-friendly hair care range. They had some of these Afro-friendly products before, but now they've had, they had somebody come in, I can't remember who it was, come in and like really tailor make sure that it fits Afro-textured hair. In Lush, they have this thing called Pay It Forward. Sometimes you get free products. I don't know how to explain it, but if you really speak to some of the staff and you talk about different products and you only intended to get like one product, sometimes I'll hook you up and plug you with two. And I say all of this to explain that's why it's in just plain black tubs because it was sample size. This is not the actual size of the products. I think that's about the size of the product, maybe a little bit bigger, but I've got two separate conditioners, one called Glory, one called Power. I will be doing Glory and Power and seeing which one is better or which one I prefer more, or if I just like both of them. The power conditioner is a protein-based conditioner and also has heat protecting ingredients. Its main ingredients are maple syrup, sweet potato puree, and wheat protein. 
Glory, on the other hand, is a standard conditioner made with fresh okra, coconut cream, and olive oil. Okay, so let's get into it because I'll be doing a split screen showing you both conditioners at the same time. I love how both of these are rich and vibrant in color. And the thickness? I think both of them are as thick as each other. I found that power absorbs really well and Glory sits really nicely on my coils. Glory is definitely heavier and weighs down my hair a lot more than power does, but power definitely spreads better and is not as clumpy. They both smell really lush, no pun intended. They both smell really healthy and organic. Glory smells more like vegetables and power smells sweet like fresh fruit. I still had some conditioner left in the tub, but obviously it was not enough to use again, so I went over my roots and tips with the leftovers. As you can see, Power has a little more slip, making it a lot easier to detangle. Glory has a very buttery texture on my hair, and Power is a lot more defining. Okay. So, moment of truth, there's any kind of difference. So this is glory, this is power. I don't know what kind of difference I thought was gonna happen immediately. Obviously none. Close up, still looks the same. Now, how does it feel? It doesn't feel the same. They're not that different either. So they both have this hydrated, like, you know when your hands are really dry or you're like, your skin is really dry and then you get a moisturizer, like a really good moisturizer and you really moisturize your hands and your hands are feeling super soft, very like silky feeling. That's the vibe I'm getting from this. The Glory was a little bit harder to wash out than uh, Power. I think I prefer Power. I think I prefer Power, but it's, <clears throat> it's very close very close i am going to do my lock method or lco method but half of it because i'm feeling kind of lazy i'm going to be using the ivy wild moisturizing lotion i do like this lotion it's very hydrating and it lasts it's not something i have to keep doing every day and grapeseed oil from beauty which for the longest time i thought was pronounced biotti ivy wild renamed and redesigned the lotion i'm currently using and it now goes by daily leave-in lotion. So this mini review is based on what I'm using in the video. So if I wasn't clear before, I love products with pumps. It's just so much easier to use and the product goes a longer way. It's a decent size and perfect for traveling. So really quickly with grapeseed oil, it's high in vitamin E. It's great for adding moisture, strength and shine. It's also good for dry scalps as it's a carrier oil and can be mixed with essential oils like tea tree oil. Wow, I said oils a lot there. Ratings or not? Nah? This is my review card which covers key factors when looking for hair products or collection of products. I love this shampoo. The packaging is pretty and practical. The size is ideal and proportionate to the pump. Like I don't know if anyone else has products with small pumps and big bottles and it's kind of awkward to hold. Yeah, this isn't that. I highly rate the purpose and quality of the shampoo. I would definitely add it to my staples. And a quick FYI, this is a Black British brand which is available on the Jammy website. So I'll add more details in the description box so you know where to get it. And if you want a discount on it, you know, you can check there as well. It was difficult to rate these differently because they had a lot of similarities. The packaging for both is the same and matches the rest of the Lush branding. The sizing gets five stars for me because there's three different sizes available and we love options. However, these conditioners are a little expensive the quality is up there for glory, but the purpose got one star knocked off because the slip really wasn't doing it for me. Clearly, I liked power better, but that's not to say I didn't like glory at all. It was a very, very close call. Power has more slip, hence the half star. Both conditioners are very moisturizing. After washing out my hair, my hair was left feeling oily, but without the oil. I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for joining me again on another ratings on our video i hope you've enjoyed if you want me to do more comparative type reviews like i split my hair in half and i do one product one product i think that was it was quite fun to see the difference but yeah let me know